Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create something like the intro from Sam Calder's Hawaii video. So yeah, that's what it looks like in Sam's video. And this is optional, but if you wanna get a really um, smooth motion on this effect, then you wanna go and download this Smooth Move plugin from Alex4D. It's super easy to install. Yeah, the download link is there, and that's what I'm gonna be using to do the motion on this effect because it allows you to get a really smooth uh, motion. So let's go back into Final Cut Pro, and yeah, this is the one I made. For this effect to work really well, you're gonna want um, a nice time-lapse shot with half of the shot clouds and sky, and then half of the shot a nice landscape. So let's go and let's reset this all. Okay, so this is the original shot that I'm starting with. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and copy and paste your shot. And then what you want to do is turn that into a compound clip. And now we're going to go into our compound clip by just double clicking. And we're going to turn the scale of both of these down to 40%. I'm just going to copy and paste those effects so now they're both 40% okay and now what you want to do is move one of the shots just off center down there and then you want to put the other one a bit further up and you're gonna rotate this one by 180 degrees and now we have this gap which we're going to need to fill with sky or clouds or something just to make this effect link up well. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste, copy and paste a shot. So now we have three, three uh, of the same shots here. But what I'm going to do to this one is add a mask. And I just want the clouds. So let's zoom in a little bit here. So yeah, you just want to mask out the clouds. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this a lot bigger. And we're just going to fill that gap just like that. Okay, so I've just all I've done is just rotated that shot so it matches up with the last shot. Right, okay, so now everything's blended together what you want to do is go back to your project. Now we're going to use the plugin that you've just downloaded, if you're going to use that. You can use the uh, transform tool to do this, but it's not going to be as smooth and it's not going to look as good. So let's just search for the, that plugin we downloaded. And there it is in the effects tab, Alex 4D Smooth Move. And we're just going to drag that onto our shot. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the transform on the normal Final Cut transform. And we're just going to put that up a little bit. This is going to allow us to get that nice zoom out at the end. Let's just put that to 130. And now we're going to use this plugin here. With this plugin, what you do is you set the start position and the end position. And then you can choose when it starts and when it ends by using these percentages. So like... 16% will be 16% into the shot that's going to start moving and then if you set it to 100% 100% at the end of the clip um, that's when the movement's going to finish if you go to the start of your shot and then one of these will be the start position and we're just going to center that up we're going to scale in probably going to have to zoom out here okay so that's the start position done and then we're going to we're going to go not all the way to the end but near to the end and then use this one this is going to be your end position so we're going to rotate it 180 degrees and then we're going to go to this shot here go to scale end and just scale it up oh, we're going to have to zoom out again and then that is going to be where the movement's going to finish. Okay, so that's the smooth rotation done. What you want to do now is go to the normal transform 
and we're going to hit keyframe on scale and we're going to move along and we're actually going to zoom in going to move along again and going to set another scale keyframe and then right to the end and we're going to zoom out just like that so what I've just done there is added four keyframes four transform keyframes Cool, so that's looking really nice. If you want to add the title that sort of sticks with the uh, with the shot, all you need to do is go into your compound clip and add your title in here. So let's just drag this in and move that over your first shot. And now when you go back to your project, the title is going to come up and it will stick to the stick to the shot cool so now all I'm going to do is add my uh, adjustment layer I'm going to add my color correction so yeah you, you always want to use adjustment layers when you're doing color correction and letterbox effect because that way it's not going to affect any of your transitions or anything like that so the last thing I did was add in the Luma Fade. All I did for that was I added the Luma Key effect. And then I used the sliders. I just added one keyframe and then one at the end and I just faded out the blacks first. And then it looks something like this. The very last thing I did was added a prism blur effect and I added this as the uh, luma fade faded out. I think that gives it kind of like a really cool look to it to be honest. Just like that. Cool so yeah there you go that's how you create a similar sort of intro to Sam Calder's intro. I will leave the link for that time lapse shot in the description so if you want to give it a go uh, yourself then you can give it a go hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one now I'm